guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lucy. Be sure to subscribe button and be sure to drop a like if you guys think that Angel is the cutest griffin in the entire world. You are definitely the cutest griffin in the entire world in my eyes. Hey, don't slap me. Anyways guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the scary truth about Bratz dolls. Bratz dolls? You guys might be really confused as to what could possibly be scary about a Bratz doll. And let me tell you, I kind of was too. I mean, Barbie dolls growing up, they scared me a lot. But Bratz dolls, they didn't really bother me as much personally because they didn't look as scary as a Barbie in my opinion. However, there's a lot of controversy about these dolls, a lot of theories, a lot of rumors, and a lot of tea. The tea is hot. Also, did you guys ever own Bratz dolls? I personally don't think I did, even though they didn't scare me as much just because I was not a dolls person. I was more of a Webkin's Little's Pet Shop kind of person. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's get on to the scary truth about Bratz dolls. So for those of you guys who don't know what a Bratz doll is, well, here is a Bratz doll. I actually got this one from my favorite thrift store and this one has a really spicy, very, very prestige outfit on. Let me show you guys. So here is the outfit on this Bratz doll. It's pretty much this like dress with beads, a necklace. She has huge lips like all the Bratz do. She even has glitter eyeliner, earring holes. She has feet, but you know what's scary about the feet on the Bratz dolls? The feet are detachable! I didn't even know that the feet were detachable until today when I was trying to like mess around with the doll and I ripped the feet off. So yeah, you can actually um, change up the feet and shoes on your Bratz dolls. I think that's what the point is so you can like put different shoes on your Bratz and... Angel, what are you doing? And that's kind of weird though because like now they're just like little stubs so apparently all the Bratz doll have the interchangeable feet and they actually scare me a little bit. But yeah, this Bratz doll is pretty crazy. But let me tell you guys more about the history of the Bratz dolls. So Bratz is an American product line of fashion dolls and merchandise manufactured by MGA Entertainment and created by Carter Bryant. Fun fact, actually really really sad fact, Bratz dolls and Barbie actually competed. When they first were released, Barbies were kind of the main doll on the market. So when the the Bratz dolls came out, of course they looked a lot, lot different than the Barbie dolls. Like here's a Barbie doll, there's a Bratz doll. I mean that's a lot different. However, Barbie was very jealous of that, so the tea is apparently Barbie tried to sue Bratz and say that they were copying their brand. However, they look completely different. They were just salty that there was another doll on the market. That's the tea apparently. And Barbie actually lost that lawsuit against Bratz, so that's pretty crazy that the Barbie company was mad enough to sue Bratz because they were scared of the competition on these dolls. So originally when Bratz dolls were released, there was four original 10-inch dolls that were released in 2000. One. It was Yasmin, Chloe, Jade, and Sasha. So they only started out with those four dolls and they all had names and they all had things about them that were different. They featured almond shaped eyes with eyeshadow and very lush glossy lips. A lot of people were actually kind of upset that the Bratz dolls kind of showed unrealistic facial features. Some parents were saying that their kids felt insecure because their lips were so big, their eyes were so dramatic, etc. and their body shapes were a little unrealistic. Kind of similar to how Barbie had made a lot of kids and people insecure about their body shape. But Bratz reached a great success and the original line of dolls expanded a number of spin-offs like Bratz Kids, Bratz Babies, and as well as featuring the Bratz characters in a web series, movie, TV series, music albums, video games, popsicles, a web game, and so so much more. Bratz Bratz pretty much became a huge and big deal. I know that I even have clothing with Bratz dolls on it. There's even Bratz clothes now. So Bratz was definitely a huge success. So eventually when Bratz got more popular, of course their packaging and stuff started changing. So one of the things that made a lot of parents mad was this specific thing. Apparently a parental group were outraged by the release of Bratz Secret Date Collection, which was a very strange name for a collection of a kid's toy. These dolls were packaged with Bratz girls in the right half of the box and they were matched with mystery boy doll behind the door on the Left. A window showing the doll's feet would provide a clue to which boy's doll it was, especially important in the quest of the rare Bryce doll, available in only one of every 24 boxes. The group complained that the doll sent a negative message and allegedly promoting the idea of sneaking out of the house to go on blind dates with complete strangers. They also took an issue to the accessories that appeared to be champagne bottles and glasses. However, the accessories were confirmed to be bottles of smoothies. They called for MGA to remove the dolls from the market and MGA held fast 
fast, and a secret date collection later renamed The Blind Date continued to sell. Wow, that is some tea about the Bratz dolls. So here's one of the worst things I found about Bratz dolls. Apparently, as we know, the Bratz dolls' facial features are very strange compared to regular dolls, since the eyes are so big and the lips look like they have a lot of lip filler, and they have huge unrealistic features on their faces. Apparently, when you take off the Bratz makeup, they look completely different. So one day, I think a little girl actually got a stain on her Bratz doll's face, so she brought her Bratz doll to her dad and asked her dad to fix the Bratz doll for her. Apparently, whatever wet wipe they used on their Bratz doll was strong enough to take the paint on the actual doll's face completely off. And when they removed all the paint on this doll's face, this is what the doll looked like. Yeah. Horrifying, I know. That is actually so scary. Apparently in that image too, there was a magazine bit pasted onto the doll's face, but they look scary all together without their facial features painted on. They look completely different and they look terrifying. And it's funny too, because I know a lot of people actually like remove the face painting on dolls and repaint them to make a new doll, which I've seen a lot of, and I've seen it with Funko Pops too, but people that have repainted their Bratz dolls have made their dolls look actually normal compared to the ones that are sold in the market, which is crazy to see what a Bratz doll would look like without the huge proportion portions of their face, they look a lot different. Honestly, I don't know, I don't mind how the Bratz doll looks, but I mean I could see where it makes people insecure, um, or makes kids feel like they need bigger lips, you know, bigger eyes when they're fine the way that they are, everybody's beautiful in their own way, but also make sure to do whatever makes you happy, ladies and gentlemen. It's not bad to get fillers, it's not bad to wear makeup, do whatever you want to do, boo-boo. <laughs> Another huge controversial topic about Bratz dolls was the way that they were dressed. Most dolls that were put on the market were dressed pretty bland and basic, you know, a typical dress, maybe holding a purse, shoes, you know, just the basic. But Bratz dolls? Girl, they got some style going. Some of them be popping off in crop tops, some of them be, you know, dressing up with different hairstyles. They look very, very unique compared to your typical doll, which actually I kind of like. But some parents did not like how the Bratz dolls were dressed, apparently because they said it was too revealing or too scandalous or make their young, young children want to wear outfits that were not very appropriate for their age because their Bratz dolls wore them, which is totally understandable. But since a lot of parents did find some of the Bratz dolls to be dressed way too revealing, Bratz dolls ended up making some of their newer releases a little bit more, I guess, a little less revealing and a little bit more neutral of outfits. I personally don't see anything wrong with the Bratz doll that I found at the thrift store. I think it's dressed fine. Yeah, the shorts on this are pretty short, but I think it's a cute outfit. Honestly, I would probably wear this outfit in real life too. And, you know, it's, it's very nicely made, honestly, compared to a Barbie. I mean, Barbies are cool too. But I actually prefer Brat over Barbies, and I know that's probably an unpopular opinion, but I like how the heads are so much bigger. I like how the eyes have more expression and the lips are huge. I don't know why I like that. I just think it looks cool. I think it looks more cartoony, I guess, than the realistic kind of girl looking doll, which I prefer the cartoony look. I also feel like these ones are more flexible, like the head can spin all the way around. Do, 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 do. Also, the arms can be more interchangeable, like you can really pose the arms of these dolls. As you guys can see, the arms move around a whole lot, and like I said, the feet are interchangeable, so you have a lot of fashion and different style options with these dolls, so I kind of like that about these, personally. Another weird thing that Bratz did was they had the normal size dolls, but they decided to release a really big Bratz doll, and this one just looked kind of awkward because you'd see in the photos here, little kids would have these huge huge standing Bratz dolls that were like really big compared to the normal size dolls. Apparently those ones did not work out as well because kids were finding them harder to bring around and travel with and they were just huge. They were really really big dolls and they were expensive. Bratz dolls actually typically sold for around 30 to 40 dollars which was a lot of money for a doll in my opinion. I feel like that's definitely a lot of money for a doll. I would spend maybe like 10, 15, 20 at most on a doll in my opinion but they were selling for a lot of money and I think some of the bigger ones were even 40, 50, $60 so that's a lot of money to be spending on a doll for your children. Not only that, but since Bratz dolls were so expensive, there were companies that tried to copy Bratz dolls. Like, they really, really wanted to get on that bank and they copied them. There were actually dollar store versions of Bratz that were released into the stores. They looked a lot like the Bratz dolls. They had the same big lips, they had the same expressive eyes, the same kind of like body structure, but they were made a lot cheaper. And those ones were trying to compete with Bratz, but obviously 
They were not brats. I don't think they got so far with that. Maybe brats sued them. But not only all of that is scary, but there has been a few scary stories online about brats dolls that kind of concerned me. Here's one that I found online. So this one says, when I was younger, on my eighth birthday, my mom bought me a brats doll. This doll was the one that I've been wanting for such a long time. She was blonde, had blue eyes, and a fashionable outfit. Everything was fine with this doll when I got it, and I would play with it every day and brush its hair frequently and take great care of it. Until one day my dog got a hold of it and ruined it. It upset me pretty badly that my dog chewed up my Bratz doll because like I said this was a gift from my mom on my 8th birthday. However, I wanted to try to fix it and glue it back together. Sadly, that did not work. I tried everything I could to fix this doll, but my mom suggested that I should throw it away. I didn't want to throw it away though because that was my favorite Bratz doll and I didn't even have another Bratz doll. I only had that one that my mom got me on my 8th birthday because my parents were not the richest. So sadly, I ended up throwing it away and my mom offered to buy me a replacement doll. So I went to the store and I got a completely different Bratz doll and it wasn't as special but it made me feel better about the situation. I remember that night when I came home with the new Bratz doll, I had set it on my desk in the same place that I had set my previous Bratz doll. When I woke up in the morning, I remember seeing the head of my Bratz doll was gone. There was no way my dog could get to the doll because it was too high up on my desk and my dog had never even been on my desk before. I thought maybe one of my family members was pulling a prank on me but no, they weren't. I asked all my family members and they said no, we didn't do that. Then I remember going back into my room and seeing my old doll's head placed on top of my new Bratz doll. It was all chewed up and deformed and it looked angry. I remember after that I screamed a horrifying scream. I yelled for my mom and she was scared as well because we had thrown that doll away and there was no way it can get back into the house by itself. I don't think it was possible for any of my family members to prank me about such an event because they were terrified as well. So then after that I ended up throwing that doll away too and since then I've never owned another Bratz doll. That is some haunted stuff guys. I don't know how to feel about that story. That's kind of scary honestly. Ooh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Today we're going to be talking about Barbie. Okay, so first off, how many of you guys watching this video have had a Barbie doll? Comment down below right now. I want to know how many of you guys have actually owned a Barbie. Anyways, when I was younger, my mom would buy me Barbies when I was like, you know, four or five years old or whatever, and I would rip their heads off. I would just demolish the Barbie, I would cut their hair. I was not a girly girl. I know it's crazy looking at me now. I know, I kind of look like Barbie. <laughs> In fact, I went out to go look for a Barbie doll. And to do so, I went to my favorite thrift store. Okay guys, so I'm back at my favorite thrift store and you guys would not believe what I found. I found so many Barbie dolls. Look at this one, she has earrings and she's dressed super elegant. There's even some that have like different colored faces. Let me see if I can find it. Like look at how this Barbie's face is a different Different color than the rest of her body like she looks tan and orange and yellow that's kind of a scary looking Barbie guy and even look at these ones guys these ones are like in packaging the Irish Barbie it's like $25 brand new in packaging there's so many old toys here I found all sorts of old Barbies guys and I ended up taking one back with me I got this gem here I don't even know what it's worth honestly it's probably worth at least like maybe 40 bucks or something so I found a limited edition celebration Barbie special 2000 edition and Loki I don't want this one anymore even though she has a cool outfit so I'm gonna get this Barbie instead guys. Anyways, I got this Barbie because we're going to be unboxing it at the end of the video to see what a Barbie's like because I haven't had a Barbie in a really long time. But first, before we unbox this amazing Barbie doll, we're going to be talking about all the tea that Barbie has on her back because there's a lot of Barbie tea. <laughs> so the original creator of Barbie was named Ruth. She was inspired by her daughter making paper dolls to actually create the Barbie doll. Barbie's appearance was modeled after a doll named the Build Lily which had been inspired by the German comic strip character. Originally marketed as a racy gag gift that men would buy in tobacco shops, which is really strange. Anyways, the first American Barbie doll went on display at the American Toy Fair in New York City. From there on out, Barbie was a huge hit because back then there was not a lot of dolls that appealed to kids, so of course they bought the Barbie no matter how ugly and scary they were or no matter what kind of weird phases Barbies went through. They were better than paper dolls and whatever other dolls were on the market that day, so Barbie was a hit to say the least. However, Barbie had a lot of issues. So the first Barbie that was a huge problem was the 1965 slumber party Barbie. This Barbie came with scales permanently set just to 110 pounds and a diet book telling her specifically not to eat food. 
That is a terrible influence on children. Not only that, but I'm pretty sure this Barbie was actually resembling a 5 foot 9 or 5 foot 10 tall girl. To be 5 9 or to be 5 10 weighing only 110 pounds is actually way underweight for your height. So they were teaching kids to be underweight. How awful is that? The scale was removed just one year later and the 1966-7 version renamed Barbie Sleepy Time Gal, but she still came equipped with her diet book and it's one simple rule. How to lose weight. Simply. Just don't eat food! These days, a healthier body image is being impressed upon young girls who wish to play with a bedtime Barbie. Now the Barbie has been revised and obviously is more modern and up to date. Altogether, Barbie has made a lot of people feel insecure, especially little girls who play with dolls thinking they have to have a certain hair color, body figure, shape, etc. When none of that's true, ladies, let me just tell you, all of you guys are beautiful. Do not listen to any of that because your hair, your eyes, your weight, everything about you is perfect, okay ladies? I have struggled with body image, weight growing up because I was bullied in school and that's just ridiculous. Be happy, eat a cupcake, take care of yourself, go for a walk, drink water, you are beautiful. So that Barbie, good thing it got off the shelves because that ain't it. Okay, so this is actually one of the creepiest Barbies that I've heard of. So there was a Barbie that was released and this Barbie actually could spy on you. That's right, this Barbie had an actual webcam in it which actually could record and record your voice and your face. In 2015, Mattel launched a Hello Barbie which contained a microphone and Wi-Fi connection so that children could talk to the Barbie, the doll could respond. The problem was that the recorded children's voices were going to be saved on cloud servers. Creepy for sure. Illegal? Maybe. I'm pretty sure that on the back of this Barbie there was even something that displayed your video capture. It's just really weird. There's no need for a Barbie doll to have a webcam to be spying on you or young children. I mean, think about it. It's only young girls mostly who had Barbie dolls, so the factor that there was Wi-Fi connection putting these children's voices and faces on a cloud server, a lot could go wrong with that. That footage could be very, very wrongly used, you know? That's really creepy. I'm just saying it's a conspiracy. I don't really know what was going on there, but those Barbies got taken off the market because obviously there was a lot of privacy complaint. Not only that, but did you guys know that Barbie was not originally meant for kids? Which is kind of conflicting, but this is what the internet is telling me because I know the lady said it was inspired by her daughter, but maybe it wasn't meant for kids? The original doll that inspired Barbie was not meant for children at all. She was used as a gag gift at bachelor parties. The Bald Lily dolls were released in Germany in 1952 and were based off an adult comic strip. Lily was a rather saucy single lady and seemed to be pretty popular with all the gentlemen. Did you guys know that Ken and Barbie have actually broke up before? On February 14th, of 2011, Barbie and Ken decided to try things again and get back together. That's so toxic. But many of us never knew that they actually broke up in the first place because they kept their relationship on the low low. The couple actually broke up in 2004. So this was quite the separation. That's a long time to be separated, Barbie and Ken. But then they got back together. But I think during that little split, Barbie actually had an affair with another doll that was actually released in the stores. And you know, she said, forget Ken, I got a new man. But not only that about Ken that I'm seeing that's kind of weird, I saw another conspiracy about Barbie or another rumor, I don't know, maybe it's the truth. It says the real Barbie and Ken are siblings. What? What in the sweet home Alabama is this? So this is a pretty creepy fact when you consider that Barbie and Ken have been a romantic item for over 60 years, with the exception of the 2004 break in their spicy doll relationship. Pregnant Barbie. Pregante Barbie. There have been hundreds of different Barbie dolls released throughout the year, but not all of them have been winners for a very specific reason as we can see. Many dolls were recalled due to the public outrage and other reasons. One storyline between the doll of Barbie's best friend Midge got pregnant. The doll Midge came with a complete open stomach that revealed a little baby inside of it. Horribly creepy and then you could pop her stomach back on when you remove the baby. Many people thought that the doll was condoning in teen pregnancy. It's, it's a little much. So actually I found the tea on Barbie's rebound boyfriend. Apparently the doll that Barbie cheated on Ken with while they took a quote unquote break was actually a Cali guy named Blaine who was supposed to be a hunky Australian boogie boarder. Wow, I, j I just don't have a lot of words at this point. And last Last but not least, Barbie did not smile at all for a whole 12 years. She was never released with any smile on her face. It wasn't until 1971 when the Malibu Barbie who had a smile showing her white teeth for the very first time. The original Barbies were all released with puckered up lips looking them look very severe and very serious. So that's very strange. Now that we know all of Barbie's tea, we're gonna open my Barbie and see what it looks like compared to today's Barbies. I just unboxed this Barbie and here she is. 
She has really long blonde hair, blonder than mine. It looks like my old hair color. Anyways, um, she does look like a normal Barbie to me. She doesn't look like super old or anything. I wonder like how her dress comes off, honestly. I think I ruined her hair too when I took it out. I think her braids are supposed to be attached. She has like a very detailed outfit. I don't know how most Barbies are these days. I don't look at them really. Um, but let's see if I can take her dress off. Is it removable? Oh, it is. Okay, I was gonna say, I thought all Barbie dresses were removable, but I don't really know. Sorry, Barbie. I just wanna see if there's any hidden webcams or scary things under your dress. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Wait, she has a ring? She's got a ring right there. That looks weird. Ah! Naked Barbie! What in the actual skinny, thick, nobody's body looks like that? I don't know how the normal Barbies look now. Is it how old is this Barbie? I don't know. She even has earrings and a tiara. I just think this is like unrealistic. No one's body looks like this. Like that is what? Why, Barbie? Why? She could do the Barbie naked splits. Woo! But other than that, you know, I should probably put her back in clothes. This is making me uncomfortable. She looks like a chicken twirling around. Woo! And there was nothing special. No webcams were hidden in that Barbie, hopefully. Imagine the inside. What if I cut the Barbie open? What's inside of a Barbie? Did you guys get 20,000 likes? Maybe I'll cut a Barbie open. Who knows? Anyways, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know if you guys have ever owned a Barbie or what you think about Barbie. Anyways, guys, it's Ben Lissy. Thank you all so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Arcade Fam! So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to hit the subscribe button, be sure to drop a like, and be sure to leave a comment down below. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.